So hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to um, show you how to write and read uh, POJOs without any annotations with plain Java and you could do this even starting with JDK 1.4. So um, I would like to introduce a simple domain object and this domain object is of course our Duke and the Duke is a Java Bean so what it means are some properties like language and H and we need also a convenience constructor for our purposes because we are lazy and we need a default constructor for Java Beans purposes and some uh, property accessors as well. So we have our Duke and we would like to write our Duke to a disk. So how to do this? Um, I would like to introduce an XML uh, app class which uh, represents our application. And um, what I would like to use is XML encoder and this class was introduced in JDK 1.4 encoder and what it expects is a new, X, a new XML encoder. You can also use the auto closable um, file output stream and new file and the file is duke.xml and we have to import the file and we have to throw the exception. So now we can say write object here and the object is our Duke. So Duke language uh, Java and H Java is very young too. And then I could flush the encoder. So now it should be on disk. So I can um, run the app and uh, no, no news are good news. And now try the reverse. So I would need the XML XML decoder. And I call it decoder. Equals new XML decoder. And uh, what I need is the um, input stream. New file input stream. And the input stream is the... Um, is We need a file with duke.xml and then we can say decoder read object and what we expect is our uh, red object and this should be the duke again so um, what, do you, what would be nice to have on the duke is the following to string So, run file. And as you can see, we got our Duke back. So, um, let's look at the file, how it looks like. So, if we go here, you see um, the format is a little bit strange. And if you look closely, what actually happened is, you will probably understand what, what, what happens behind the scenes. So, the runtime in, um, it creates the, the, the object behind the scenes and invokes the getters and setters. So, you can see this. So, what we could do, for instance, we can uh, even uh, set a breakpoint here at the um, at the language level, and then you will see that it will actually going to be invoked. So uh, debug file. So as you can see, uh, the runtime is invoking the set language with Java string. So. Um, Enjoy XML and Java and see you at Airhex at Munich Airport. Bye.